Right now, a story you'll only see here on WBRC First at 9. We've got video that some of you may find disturbing that shows police officers punching a man while he's on the ground. The warrior chief of police is responding tonight to our questions about their conduct. He spoke to our Brittany Dion tonight. She joins us now with what the chief has to say. Brittany. Well, Catherine, Steve, Chief Scott Prater and I spoke at length this evening about this video you see right here. It was sent to us by a viewer. He viewed it for the first time for our, our WBRC news truck. Now, Chief Prater admits this does not look good, but he says this video doesn't tell the entire story either. I know what the video looks like. Warrior police officers caught on cell phone camera by a WBRC viewer. The police appearing to punch a man while he's on the ground. It looks like there's some officers throwing some punches, which that is what's happening. But Warriors Chief of Police Scott Prater says there's more to the story than what meets the eye. Their extra step to actually fight instead of, you know, use lethal force on this person. Who the person is, we're still working to find out. The viewer who sent us the video does not want to be identified and doesn't have details on the arrest. They were just passing by and decided to record. Chief Prater says he believes this video is from a Saturday high-speed chase that ended on Highway 160 in Hayden. It involved a uh, kidnapping and sexual assault of a female. Officers that you see were pursuing him on foot at that point where uh, he's tackled by an officer or they both fall. Prater says the man had a gun and refused to put his hands behind his back. Was it in protocol what the officers were doing, the punching? When they get there and can't get his arms out from under him, they're having to do what they can to get his arms out from under him without using any kind of lethal force. Once they're able to do that, they handcuff him and the instance over. That's what we believe this to be. Now, Chief Prater says that he will pull body camera video and to see if it matches what his officers tell him what happened and says that he will take action up to termination if they violated protocol. We requested to see that video as well, but Prater says his initial investigation into this arrest shows his officers did nothing wrong. Of course, we will continue to follow up on this story and bring you the latest information as it unfolds.